Hello, it is Kitty Blue. It is January the 1st, 2023. Happy New Year to everybody out there in YouTube land. Um, I am going to go over my doll plans for 2023. And um, I'm naming it Seven Steps into 2023. And uh, basically what that means is I've got like seven different things, points that I want to talk about today. I have my two dolls um, with me. This is Magnolia. She was the first doll that I received in 2022. You, and um, this is Fiaran, and Fiaran is a um, galactic gray future that I received, the last doll that I received in 2022. I had a photo at the end of the end of year overview of my doll collection, so that's who these are. I figured they would be good to sit here and um, since it's the first of the year and I have not gotten any new dolls, dolls yet. <laughs> All right, so first off, we're going to start with things from last year that didn't really get started or um, yeah, I didn't like focus on. I had a lot of different things going on um, last year. So I didn't get my list of things to do. Number one being my dollhouse. I am still going to do that. Um, I'm just not sure yet when. Uh, as I had said in previous videos and in my end of the year video that um, I've really been looking to move somewhere. So I want a little bit more outside space and um, not so crowded neighbor wise. Um, I live in an area where it's pretty much like a driveway separating each house on both sides. So yeah, I would love to have more space outside, inside. Inside space is nice too. Um, definitely something the same as this space. And of course, I need one room of the house to dedicate to my doll room. So <laughs> that is a must on the list of doll or of um, house shopping. So um, the other thing was posting more videos. Um, I posted box opening videos. That's all I did last year. I didn't post anything, um, comparisons and stuff like that, that I had wanted to do. Um, again, that is because there was a lot of things going on and, um, my business, like having to do conventions, it's just like nonstop having to sew like a bunch of stuff before, um, before each convention. Um, I think there's only two that I have like that are within like a couple weeks of each other. I've tried to like space them out to be one, one a month. So hopefully that will be a little bit better to, um, be able to focus on my dolls. And, um, there was, there was different things that I wanted to do with photos, and I also wanted to continue with my photo stories. Um, I did take some photos. You know, if you go on my Instagram, you can see photos there. Um, I didn't take nearly as many as I wanted to or things that I wanted to take pictures of. Um, but hey, there's always time. So the last thing was working on props. This, I think the reason why I didn't start doing that is because of the dollhouse situation. So since there isn't a dollhouse yet, I don't want to be making a bunch of props because I already have like two totefuls of like different props and stuff that I've purchased um, that don't have a home because I don't have a dollhouse. So I want to start making some stuff and um, I might make a few things for my smart dolls. Um, to add in with my smart dolls. I I have an idea to redo my smart doll area, but we'll talk about that later. So that was number one. Number two, dolls that I'm still waiting on. So these are dolls that I had purchased last year that I'm still waiting on. Um, I purchased a few dolls through BJD, BJD Divas, and um, that was a Dream Valley Aurora. I purchased her in July. Actually, I purchased both of these dolls in July. So um, Aurora is a centaur doll, um, but it is a griffin doll as well. So I actually got the full set 
which I usually don't do because it's a little pricey, but this one I think was worth it because she's a centaur. Um, so I went ahead and got the regular like human bust above the centaur body. And I also got the griffin like bust and head. So I'm really excited for that to come in. And I got the full body blushing and everything because, um, yeah, I was having a little problem finding um, artists that actually do full body blushing. And most of them just do like the face ups and stuff like that, which I can totally understand. It probably takes more time and everything to do full body blushing. Um, the other one that I ordered through them was a Lutz... Um, uh, Kid 45 Centaur. So, like I know that need another Centaur. Um, <laughs> but I did want it. It's a different size. So I believe um, there wasn't specific um, measurements for the actual Centaur of the doll. So I'm, I'm pretty sure just by looking at the photos, I think it's the same size. It's going to be the same size as the model Delf um, centaur that I got a couple years ago. I can't remember when, but um, I went ahead and did that because I'm going to be, um, I've decided to sell one of my other centaurs um, that are, you know, just the regular kid size. Um, so yeah, that is on order. That was in July. Uh, in October, let's see, iOS. Immortality of Souls? Something like that. iOS. Um, they had a couple of skulls that they re... re um, losing my words. <laughs> they, they put it out to um, remake them, but they were like a cat and wolf skull. So, of course, I wanted to get it. Um, I think the... I think the cat is in quarter scale and the um, wolf is one third, but I'd have to look at that. But I got those, uh, ordered those in October. I'm not sure. Usually most dolls have been taking about six months. Uh, I've never ordered from iOS before, so I have no idea how long those are going to take. Um, then I also ordered from Peepos. And um, they had the Cheshire, like, skeleton version of Cheshire Cat. And I got that one. Um, I believe I got him in gray. And I can't remember if I got a face-up or not for him. And then uh, they just released a new Cat Anthro doll in their one-quarter scale. And uh, Jeannie is her name. And uh, I ordered both those on... October the 3rd so I can't recall their time frame their wait times but um, I'm sure it's gonna be a while all right moving on soul doll angel Persephone she is in this fabulous green color I just had to get her she was really gorgeous um, I did get her with a face up because their face ups are amazing I out of all the face ups that um, have been on any of the dolls that I have. Soul Doll has been like on the top of my list of amazing face ups. Um, I ordered that in September 13th. So those usually end up being like maybe around four months. So I might be looking at getting those soon. Um, then I ordered a few dolls from New Clover Singing. I ordered some coral reef um, parts. One was uh, some wings, and the other one was these, like, really cool, like, arms. And I uh, ordered those in August. And then the second thing that I ordered from them was a Dream Valley Packer, I think is the way it's pronounced. But it is an anther dog, and um, it is one six scale. He's really cool, I think. I think I got him in tan, and I got the full, like, body blushing and stuff, I think. I can't recall, but that was in September. Um, again, usually those take about six months um, to arrive or more. So yeah, we'll see who comes first. All right, down the list, number three, downsizing and rehoming. 
the three P's. Pricing, photos, and packaging. So there are quite a few dolls that I plan on um, rehoming for 2023. Um, in the video at the end end of the review end of the year review video that I just did yesterday, um, there were some dolls that were in the at the end of the video that um, are going to go up for sale. I haven't decided. Well, I know a couple of them that I'm definitely going to be rehoming, but the other ones, um, I'm on the fence. But I'm also going to go back through all of these behind me and my smart dolls and decide who brings me more joy. <laughs> so, yes, that is always something that is on my list of things to do every year is to um, kind of reevaluate my collection and um, see who just doesn't have a place here anymore. I mean, I love all the dolls. I really do. Um, obviously I, I have space. I have a whole room for my doll. So it's not, it's not about space. It's just that, I mean, that's a lot of dolls. I mean, there are, there are people that have more dolls than I do, but it's a lot of dolls. <laughs> all right, moving along. Number four, um, photo photo projects and other projects that um, are on the plans. I want to organize doing a few different things. I thought that would be fun. Um, one is going to be a 52 weeks of fashions and um, basically what that is is like once a week I will post a picture. Um, what I'll do is I'll post a picture of the clothing like as you know just laying out in a nice array and then um, I'll post the doll with the clothing on um, more details on that when I actually do that uh, right now it's planned for um, CJ fashions which is smart doll the smart doll clothing because I have a lot of them and I really want to mix and match things up because um, I just kind of usually just grab things and throw them on the dolls. Um, normally, normally I don't buy a lot of clothes for my dolls, but, um, smart doll fashions are really cool, but I like, I like making my own stuff too, which is another weekly project. Um, it's either going to be a sewing or a propped project, probably more or less sewing because like I said, um, I'm not sure if I want to go full in on doing props until the dollhouse situation is um, planned more fully. Um, then, also along those lines, I wanted to try and do a weekly video. So on that note, um, I will ask you guys, and if you comment down below, what day and time would you like to see a weekly video being uploaded? Um, I know some people, you know, like to watch them on the weekends or maybe they like to a certain day during the week. It'd be cool for, for, a you know, to watch a video. So I'm asking everybody on their opinion on that. Um, so I can decide, I'll need to decide that though by the end of this week, because you know, I need to, I'll need to do one. Although, I mean, I guess I can consider this my weekly video <laughs> since it is January the 1st. So, yeah. Um, also, what content and stuff that you would like and or whether or not I'm not I'm, I'm not too sure about doing live because um, right now I'm using my phone. Um, and I know I can do live, I think, on YouTube through my phone. But I have to look into it. I'm not very tech savvy, so we'll see. But I would like your opinions on um, what content or discussions, if I do a live one, or what kind of content that you would like to see in the weekly videos. Um, I do know that I am going to do, which is number five, um, is actually 
doing videos. So I want to do some more body comparisons. That's actually probably going to be videos and photos. Um, a couple of things that are on the list is doing a comparison of Parabox's life-size doll and um, the Dollmore Trinities and also the Odeheims and the Lucians. Kind of like um, a comparison of them, maybe pros and cons. Um, the second one is the Many Colors of Smart Doll. So now that I have the gray, uh, I'll probably do a short video showing you the different colors. Um, I don't have all of them though. Unfortunately, I have, I'm still with missing one color, which that is always something that I want to do every year is to try to find an original, original Coco skin doll. The original Coco that, um, was produced was had almost like a purplish kind of tinge to it. So I still have not been able to find one. Um, fingers crossed. If you know anybody selling one, let me know. And uh, also, I think I'll be, I got a few different Dolphy Dream Bodies. So um, I think I'll redo the size comparison of that video because I know I did one but it was a comparison with uh, Dolphy Dream, Smart Doll, and Abitsu. But I think I might do like one that is um, just Dolphy Dreams. There's a lot of them out there, but you know, I'm trying to work here on what could um, be the best thing that would be easy to do and um, wouldn't need too much time because like I said, in between conventions and Etsy orders, sometimes it gets a little busy and hectic. Number six, getting back to my roots. Um, basically, the, what that means is like when I first started in this hobby, um, there was two things. Well, there was a number of things. Um, I really wanted to have certain characters of my dolls, which I do have. They're the mostly the resin soul dolls that are up on this shelf right here. Um, and they're characters that I had created before even knowing about ball jointed dolls. Um, I had at one point and wanted to try and figure out how to like have dolls made out of the characters that I had um, and do a line of them, but that did not work or I didn't know what exactly how to do that so back burner that um but I did make them into resin dolls from resin soul because they have fantasy colors and um so yeah back to my roots resin soul I love resin soul dolls love them I know a lot of people don't but I like fantasy dolls I love that they will do custom modding and custom colors so yes and along that line, photo stories. So I want to get back to my photo stories, which are those characters. Um, I used to love doing it. I really did. And then I just got caught up in so much different things. And um, I mean, like I said, too many dolls. <laughs> oh, okay. Number seven future doll plans. So what am I going to do in 2023? What are some new dolls that are going to come besides the ones that are on order? Um, I am going to do another custom order from Resin Soul. Lots of fun characters that I have created, so hopefully they will be able to do everything that I need. Um, yeah, and the question of are there any more smart dolls in my future? I would like to say, no, I have too many of them. I have enough. However, he just released Galactic Grey. And she is semi-real. So she is future semi-real. I would love and hope that he does prowess because I want prowess. Um, and anomaly, if they do anomaly, which is a zombie. Or if I can just find some, like, you know, blank heads, too. You know, I can get, like, one more gray and then just have blank heads. Which is what I was going to do with my blues, but that kind of... You saw in my video. There's a lot of smart dolls. Um, so...
So definitely if he releases Prowess and Anomaly and Grey, I will probably get those two. Um, it's, it's always hard to say whether or not I'm going to continue getting more smart dolls because I just never know what is going to be put out there. Um, he recently posted a photo of um, a couple of dolls that have like the cyber marks on their bodies and that is really cool. So that's on the list of possible I might get depends on the actual um, doll that's going to be made in it. Um, C7, which is my smart doll that I had custom made, has the marks on her face. She does have the cyber, or the, um, yeah, the cyber bust and like the prosthetic legs. So she's kind of more like that. Um, originally I was going to have like cyber marks on her chest and stuff, but when he showed the cyber um, bust, I went ahead and got that instead. And I really like it on her. So that is that. Um, it's been a while since he's shown the quarter scale, which I think they were calling pocket dolls, but I thought that I thought the pocket ones were like even smaller, but he was going to be doing, um, one quarter scale smart dolls. So I'll probably have to get a few and I will try, try, try to decide on how many that I will get. I don't know if I want it one of each color, which was my original plan with my smart dolls was one of each color and a boy and off rail. <laughs> the other thing is if he does any new DC characters, um, I know there was kind of a hint that possibly Wonder Woman and Catwoman, maybe. So if one of those actually does come out in 2023, then yes, I will be getting those. Other than that, um, like I said, you just never know what he's going to come out with. So it's always hard to know in the future. Always temptation. And oh, a long temptation. I'm always tempted by companies that um, release new anthro or fantasy dolls. Uh, again, back to Soul Doll. I love Soul Doll. Um, I think they're fantasy. Um, I think it's fairy story. I think it's fairy storyline. A lot of the hoofed ones. Um, however, I really, really, really would love to see a boy doll in the kids line of Soul Doll. Not the Vito. Vito is too large. Um, I have the Vito Paw, which is the one that was like a wolf. And his legs are just like ridiculous and he, he doesn't stand very well and he's just humongous. Um, he pretty much is like almost the size of an SD doll and, and very heavy and awkward. Um, so yeah, I would love to see their kids line with a boy fantasy doll. That is my hopes and dreams to do that. And I think that is about it. Um... I'm sure lots of things will come along the way. Um, obviously, I don't like setting resolutions because there's just too many things that can come up that can kind of push you off schedule, um, work, family, illness, who knows? Nobody knows what the future is going to be. So I will try my best to do these things. Um, I shouldn't say try. I should just say do. Yes. Do or do not, right? Um, yeah. So that is it. So um, as usual, please make sure you subscribe so that you can see upcoming videos and um, or get notification of upcoming videos. Like the video if you actually liked it. I mean, if you didn't like it, that's fine too. Um, everybody has their preferences of what kind of videos they like to see for dolls. Um, this is just fun for me. And I like to like go back and watch the videos sometimes and be like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Or, you know, it's, it's nice to look back on things as well. And possibly maybe keep me on track. Although I have this list here, so I'll try to keep that on track. 
Um, yeah, other than that, organizing stuff, getting stuff organized, um, which I have started to be started doing because um, along the same lines of, you know, wanting to get a new house, there's a lot of stuff that I need to get organized and um, get rid of <laughs> before I move. So that is going to be, um, that might get in the way of some of my doll plans, but we're good to go right now. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for um, everything, you know, everybody that has commented, liked my videos and uh, last year. Thank you so much. I hope this year um, brings you all a lot of doll fun. And um, yes, stay safe, take care, and have a great year. Bye.